Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy. So today we're gonna go do the Water Temple because, well, it's one of the few temples we have left. Now, my controller might die while I'm recording this, so yeah, we'll find out. You, you have Oxiel. You're the ones we've been waiting for. Please, save the mermaids. Okay, let's go save the mermaids. As she hovers, wow, holy shit, she's a ghost. Holy fuck, she's a ghost. Forgot about that. You want to get in the barrel. Might as well, it's not like I didn't save. <laughs> so, whatever. Through the barrel we go to a land beyond time. I should quite turn on my fan. Look at those bubbles. And fish. And it's fucking Atlantis. Damn straight. If I remember correctly, this dungeon is a massive maze. So this will be fun. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. And I can't remember which way goes where. So yeah, this could be fun. Oh boy. Let's see what this shit does. Oh, so we've got sea trolls. We've got people that still aren't doing a lot of damage, which is very disappointing. I wish I could get something on my master to make him slightly better, at least. But I can't. So yeah, we got to deal with this for now. Oh boy. Please kill a sea snake, thank you. Is there anything around this way? No. Why'd I go that way? There better be something up here. Okay. Well, about 10,000 gil. Not that I really need the money right now, but... Water Nagas. Hopefully these things don't have too much health. Well, it died in one hit. Hooray for experience. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Oh boy, fast forward time. Because I'm done with this already. Oh boy. Yes, nothing, nothing says annoying like having about like 40 enemies attack you at once. That, that's just the greatest. To be completely honest. Okay, well only three left. Maybe we can kill them. Of course they're gonna get at least a few attacks off, but... Hooray! Hopefully I never have to fight another group of those again. Well, here's your staircase, so... Considering this is only the first floor, I don't think there would be too much on it, so I'm probably just gonna move on to the second floor and... Hope I'm going the right way. I think the third floor is the one that contains the Rosetta Stone I'm looking for. I think. Really normal ghosts? I think this is just normal ghosts. Well, they died like normal ghosts. Oh boy. Let's keep going. Hopefully this isn't a long ass dead end. A shark. That didn't do that much damage, okay. We're good. Oh boy. This is a long ass dead end. This is unbelievable. <sighs> I am so fucking impressed right now by this long ass dead end, you have no idea. I knew I was gonna have fun in this dungeon. This is, uh. This is, I wish I had a black mage moment right now. <laughs> oh, hindsight. Well, my white mage killed something, so it's a good day. As I run backwards for like half a million steps. Please don't be in there, Dan. Please. I think it's an dead end. I'm gonna be really, really annoyed when I find out. Why would you make a long dead end path to nowhere? I, I, this, this is one of the reasons I don't like this dungeon. Long dead end paths. This is a long dead end path. Damn it! Oh my god, that's so annoying. Almost as annoying as this formation of enemies. Why would you ever fill the screen with mine? 
this is the only Final Fantasy game, to my knowledge, that throws you against nine enemies at a time. And the only one that actually allows all nine enemies to attack. Really annoying. I think Final Fantasy 2 kind of fixes this. I think the max is six or eight, and I think only the first two rows of enemies can attack you. I think. Almost the back rows using magic. So they do fix a lot of stuff in Final Fantasy 2, and they also make a lot of stuff in Final Fantasy 2 just really stupidly odd. Which is why you never hear about people talk about Final Fantasy 2, unfortunately. Because it is a decent game, it's just really, really oddly designed. You'll know what we're talking about if I ever go through Final Fantasy 2. Or for anyone that's ever seen someone play through it, it's really, really oddly designed at times. And that's kind of an understatement. So I don't know why I'm walking back towards the stairs. I guess I'm just hoping for... That's Dan. Okay. So we know not to go that way. <sighs> I'm about to head desk so hard you don't even know. The sad thing is I don't even have a desk nearby, so I'd be head desking off my laptop. Which is probably not good, so I should probably not do that. Fast forward time. Save my sanity. We must fast forward. Unbelievable. Anytime. You know, just let like 20 things attack you while we're raining. Because, you know, it's not like you're getting further or anything. Oh boy. Oh, my witch killed the last one. Good. What's up here? Please don't be a dead end. Please don't be a dead end. Please don't be a dead end. Another staircase back to third floor. Okay. Fourth floor. I don't think there's going to be anything in here, but I'm going to check anyway. Because, why not? <sighs> That's unfortunate. 110 gil, which means the second chest in here must have something good. 450 gil. Okay, good. There's another door here. Right. Welcome to the giant ass maze that is this dungeon. Okay, what's up here? Probably nothing, but. Uh, actually, a lot of things. Please be a Rosetta Stone in one of these. Oh, god damn it. Force encounter? Maybe not. Who knows? I honestly don't. Uh, stupid sharks. And dead. Uh, a bunch of gill, a bunch more gill. This is a forced encounter indeed. Why did I step here? Oh boy. Not too annoyed yet. Matter of fact, I think the game is kind of bringing it back. As long as you, a ribbon, that's. Are these as overpowered as I think they are? I actually should probably just sort my items first off. And, no, equipment. Can you equip ribbons? Words off special attacks, which means it basically prevents every stash ailment in the game. The helmet. <laughs> well, considering everyone else is still using leather caps, I should probably give you a better helmet. Would be smart. I'll give you the ribbon, because it would be very nice if my white mage never gets a stash ailment. Nothing? We'll find out. Maybe. Oh, big, long, confusing dungeons. Everyone's favorite. At least the enemies here aren't terrible. But the problem is, I think this dungeon is fairly long and fairly confusing. I think that's to the next floor, so it's over here. 20 bucks says nothing. But I'm gonna go here anyway, just so I can get really pissed off when I find out. Because that's going to happen. At least I'm not poisoned. Hooray! Everyone gets level ups. Should probably just high potion some of this away. Because why not? Oh boy. At least I'm not taking ridiculous amounts of damage. Okay, so this just loops around. 
that's not too bad. I already know where the staircase is, now it's just a matter of checking the rest of this floor, because I need to get the Rosetta Stone before I leave this place. It's pretty imperative. And hopefully it's in this room. If something tells me this might be a forced encounter, but who knows. No one really knows. Okay, killing time. Yay. Bunch of gill, Rosetta Stone, Force Encounter. Definitely a Force Encounter. At least I can seem to hurt these things. Force Encounter? No. Oh boy. My favorite group of enemies, the ones that are really annoying. I just noticed I have like 6 MP. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Didn't even realize I had like 6 MP on my like knight and like 4 MP on my ninja. <laughs> That's ridiculously low monster MP, which is kind of hilarious. But I think part of that is because you only get MP level ups after you become like one of those classes, so that's the amount of MP they've acquired through leveling up. Which is kind of sad. But it's better than none. So basically if you're super under leveled when you complete the Citadel of Trials, you could in theory end the game with more MP. Just because. But the problem is you'd have to be really low level going for the Citadel of Trials, which good luck to you doing that. And I'm also poisoned, so I should quite take care of that with the antidotes that I do not have. Keep forgetting I don't have any. Should probably make a stop at some point to get some. That'd probably be really smart to do since it would save me a well, not a lot of magic, but a decent amount of magic. It's like something to throw on my to-do list, basically. I don't know why I killed my white mage, but okay, we're good. Rosetta Stone, please. Horse and car. Horse and car. Oh Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna kill the things that cause instant death first, because that seems like a good idea. And I do have, like, a super good Yara spell, but I don't need that right now. And Yara go. Oh, decent damage. And one more Yara should take care of everything. And we're good. GG! Gil. Giant's Gloves. I think those are actually good. You cast Saber when used. Which could be good. Actually, can I go down here? No, I can't. Why'd I run back? Well, I do have Giant's Gloves. So there's a plus. Rosetta Stone, please. A lot of fucking enemies, that's for sure. Oh boy. I'm totally not annoyed at all right now. Except I clearly am. Actually, you know what? You just start working. You work the Sea Snake, you work this guy, you just do whatever. I don't even care. So I know the scorpions could poison, potentially. I like how my white mage, I think, just did more damage than my monk did, which is kind of hilarious, to be completely honest. <laughs> oh boy, the master is apparently completely useless. A light axe. I have a serious doubt that this is better, but... Guess Yara. Well, if this was an undead dungeon, that would be good, but this isn't an undead dungeon, so it's useless. Okay, let's see how this works out. Well, it's dead. Good. My master class does, like, nothing to anything, but that's alright. Kind of, except not really. Oh, boy. Okay, seriously, you couldn't even kill the front row guy. Wow. Unbelievable. No, no. You attack the back row. You finish your damn job. 
And if you get a turn, you just poison this, so I don't have to go into the menu later. And of course, you're not gonna get a turn, but whatever. So now I have to go into the menu. Our favorite place to go. I'm not a fan of, like, separate menu music in this game. Like, it's not a huge deal, but I'm still not a fan of it. Like, I'd rather just have, like, the overworld music continue playing. That's just my personal preference, though. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything down here, but I'm gonna go down here anyway, just because. No, you make an attempt to at least kill something, please. Thank you. Oh, the White Mage went before everyone else, which is weird. Because usually you'd think the ninja would go first, but nope. Okay, well, there's no way you're gonna get the first turn, White Mage, so... Oh my god, I'm, I'm tired of the game poisoned. Because now I have to go into the menu every freaking time. It gets really annoying after a while. The scorpions actually do hurt a fair bit. Which is even more annoying. Are you serious? This is basically a big, long dead end. God damn it, Square. Why would you do this? Oh my god. Ugh, annoying things in video games. Aren't they the greatest? I am so annoyed. Well, I do know for a fact that there is a coral sword in here somewhere. Big empty room. Everyone's favorite. I think this might be the floor that the Rosetta Stone's on. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Wow, you really did 106 damage. You, you're so good. Like, you don't even know how good you are. Fucking master. Okay, how much healing do I need? Well, a few high potions will help. But we're good. Straight up, probably nothing, so I'll check it anyway for now. Big long that end. A big long going backwards thing. I just came all the way back, didn't I? No, I didn't, actually. We're still good. So maybe this will lead to where I want to go. Or maybe this will lead to the complete opposite way of where I want to go. We'll find out. Uh, this is a big long loop around. God damn it. Well. That was a waste of time. Please be Rosetta Stone. Please be Rosetta Stone. Please be Rosetta Stone. Please don't be the boss. Please don't be the boss. Is this the end? Okay, good. Is this either the boss room or a big empty room? Um, I really hope it's not a big empty room because that'll be really annoyed. But not to the point where I'll rage quit. Just in general to be annoyed. Of poor decisions. Because I really need to get this Rosetta Stone. Like, really. It'd be nice to have. I'm, I'm tired of getting attacked by Scorpion, seriously. The worst part is they seem to all gang up on the same character. Which isn't the worst thing ever, but still it gets annoying. At least you don't have a lot of health, but still it's annoying. And if you somehow get a turn, just please get rid of this poison. Because you never know. Oh my god. I would like to find a better weapon for him. That's what I really need for him right now, because his weapon is so underpowered at this moment. Is bare handing him a better strategy than weaponing him at this point? It is. Well, that helps. He's better with his bare hands at this point than he is with weapons. Probably for the best I found out. Okay, it's the boss. Well, I need to find the Rosetta Stone before coming here, so time to go backwards. Ugh, this is annoying. This is kind of really annoying. 
But it's not the worst. At least I'm doing damage now. Maybe. 691 damage specific. Holy crap. I am so glad I took those off. There's nothing up here, is there? Well, at least you can kill stuff now. Pro tip. He's now basically my strongest character. Thank god I found that out. So I could have swore there's that they were better unarmed. But I just never unarmed them. And now that I have, I can see the glory of my decision. So yeah, Monks are as overpowered as I remember them being. They just don't have as much help as knights. But it's a good thing I discovered that fairly quickly. I'm sure I was getting showed that over the last